work in 1953-1954. General Dwight D. Eisenhower. I become president of the United States. He has a very important focus on rebuilding the United States after winning World War II. And he's thinking about airports, freeways, factories, things like that, bridges, whatnot. And something keeps getting laid down on his desk, which is this issue of segregation, which was actually sort of a problem at that time, believe it or not. Um, I am not from that generation, but it was a problem. It was a thing. And as this whole thing was playing out, he was focused a lot on building more bridges, freeways, airports, yada yada. Segregation keep, kept coming up. And eventually, Little Rock drops in front of him. And it's sort of like a guinea pig experimentation. Let's see what happens if we try to integrate. Now, he gives it the go-ahead. And it's probably... I mean, now, Ike is, like, one of the whitest guys that you could ever think of, but he says, let's give it the go-ahead. Let's see what happens. So, Little Rock is kind of used as an experiment, as far as integration goes. And let's let these nine different kids, in their terms at the time, uh, go to high school. There was this other SOB who was like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with the segregationists because he saw it as a political move. And that didn't fare very well for anybody. So he has control over the National Guard, Arkansas National Guard. And these kids were fought with tooth and nail. These are kids, by the way, these are high schoolers. First day they couldn't get in there. Ike Eisenhower, he didn't like that very much. And this is a guy who was like a hero in World War II. He's seen way worse things. This this is not going to fly. So this other guy, this SOB, I can't remember his name. He basically pulls out and goes, okay, okay, no more National Guard, no more Arkansas National Guard. Uh, let's just let the locals and the police deal with it and let's see what they think. So these nine kids try to get a high school education and they have to be escorted by military service members just to walk into a building and it's interesting to me because I I think that we've come a long way but how far along have we come to really witness things like this so this is what what is referred to as the Little Rock Nine. I'm going to do my best here to portray these nine students. This was a long time ago, right now. 1953, 1954 is when Eisenhower first became president. But this is just... These are kids, right? Just trying to get an education. And I think it's sort of mind-boggling that that had to happen. There was mobs, very angry people, trying to prevent them from just getting a high school education, which is crazy to me. And when I say that, I recognize that I am probably the whitest guy that you know, and I'm talking about Eisenhower, who is the whitest person that you could ever think of. I mean, his nickname was Ike. How much whiter does he get? I think it's really beautiful that at least as they're facing the Capitol, the Capitol building, I mean, this is just insane to me. This is why Little Rock is really important. I don't know why it was used as such an experimentation, but it was. So here we are. And hopefully, we're going to do better in the future. I really don't know what to say. I don't think there is anything for me to say, but such is sometimes.